he's enormously popular and in fact he when he came when he first came into office the week after inauguration he had a 79 percent favorability rating that's almost a record setting setting rating uh, interestingly though the last president who had an approval rating that high at that period in his presidency was Jimmy Carter and I, I, I think that that shows that there are with these enormous expectations these uh, the, the these enormous hopes that have been uh, stoked by by uh, by Barack Obama and the promise of his presidency there's also a danger of a, a crashing disappointment because he has stoked expectations to such an irrational degree uh, that yes we can and that we're going to stop the oceans rise and we're going to uh, uh, you know, teach our children well and uh, remake the economy and on and on and on. He's raised expectations for this office, uh, expectations that were already far too high to begin with. He's raised them higher than anybody in, in living memory. And I think that poses a risk for him because when he does, fail to do some of these things as as uh, as any president would because the office is not an omnipotent and no one one person can right every wrong in american life when 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 he does uh fail in some of these respects i i think that uh the american public is likely to turn on him uh th this is typical in in when, when you track presidential approval ratings there's a there's a honeymoon period, and then there's, a, there's an inevitable period where uh, we all decide that we want a divorce. And I'm, I'm hoping in this case that the, the president doesn't end up taking half our stuff along the way.